point out the uh, the uh, baskets here, made by the Cherokee Indians, made out of all kinds of materials. You see some made out of this uh, of oak. You see others made out of a uh, type of bamboo. You see here, and these are from honeysuckle. Now, honeysuckle didn't come originally from this country; it brought from Japan. It became a very invasive thing. Most people hate it, but Indians found a way of using it to make baskets, as you can see here. And we from what we've been able to find out that this is done by the uh, Indians down in Florida. Whoever paddled that thing around in an alligator country had a, had a real either death wish or they had one skill. I he couldn't have said it. He had to either kneel in it or probably push it with a pole. But to drive that thing through alligator country down there took real courage. Is that right? <laughs> Other things that amaze me, whenever you think of, of um, a road gun, what do you think of? The uh, Amazon, you think yeah. of Africa. Yeah. It's hard to realize that Indians, uh, the uh, Cherokee, and the Chop Charm, some Indians of that region use a blow gun. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend who's here today, where the heck is he? Uh, We're all here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know, I'm thinking of a particular fellow, Big Kevin, over there. When I first got that, he said, let's try that out. We took it out the field out there. He put up a, a, a big cardboard cot, and he would put those right through the center. Uh -huh. And it did a great job. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to blow off, you don't breathe in. Because <laughs> <laughs> the feathering on there is made I from a cattail. Yeah. The, uh, Plus on the cattail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now is that bamboo native though? That is a, a native uh, bamboo that grows down around the Carolinas in Georgia. Very oh. much is called great. Uh, oh, I think there's Latin, I can't sure remember the minute the Latin name of it, but it's it's an American grown bamboo, very similar to the Oriental bamboo. Yeah, it looks exactly mm -hmm. like it. Yep. Wow. One of the things that I've always interested in us is corn because we owe the great debt to the Indian people for giving us corn. Uh, the uh, Indian has always said that uh, uh, when white man got corn, it's because the crow had one ear of ear of corn the other ear of feed. Hmm? This is why crows can't understand why people want to uh, get the crow now, because after all, this is that a little bit. I have over there. I get him when it comes around this. But we are very interested in biodiversity. We want to see many of the early um, types of corn preserved because we need that strong genetic factor that's in, uh, in the corn. Back in the, I think it was in uh, the, uh, the 1980s, there was a, a great blight that hit the corn crop, wiped a lot of it out. You can have to reach back and get some of the strong genes of reed tree. Uh, breathe back into the corn and give it the, its, uh, its, its uh, strength. So we need to keep corn alive. And we grow some of the different types of corn here. It's interesting to note that Indians developed every type of corn. Uh, uh, pod corn, which is the earliest type of corn you see here, all were developed in things called teosinte, a grass that grew out in the southwest. Indian uh, women kept saving their larger grain each year until finally they got the Tiasani, so it grew from tiny little uh, ears to much larger ears and from it. And the, the mystery is still out there because there's another grass called uh, uh, Trypsicum that they think also may have some input into the, uh, into the uh, uh, gene. But anyway, corn is developed through the years to all different types. and. Uh, we are growing corn here, and we are giving it back to, to anybody that asks for it, uh, who wants to plant it, because we want to keep some of these ancient varieties alive if we can. I remember there was a great blight among some of the corn out in Oklahoma, and we were able to send out, I think John sent about 70 or 80 pounds of corn seed out mm -hmm. there, and they were delighted to get it, because when they do the ceremonies, they don't want to use <laughs> <coughs> genetically engineered corn, but they want to use their own corn that goes back to their own history. Right. <coughs>